Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Lindsay, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be my necklace collection video. I don't know if people want to see this or not, but I really wanted to make this video because I have perfected my necklace collection. I have been collecting necklaces for a very long time, and I've gotten rid of so many necklaces that I never wore, and I've bought so many that I really like, and so I just wanted to show you guys <laughs> this collection, and if you're into jewelry like I am, necklaces are like the only thing I can get myself to wear, but I cannot do rings, they bother me, and I can't really do bracelets either, they bother me, but they just get in the way, and you have to take them off when you wash your hands, and so I just like necklaces. I figured I would show you guys all my necklaces today. Before I do get into the video though, please do hit that subscribe button down below and hit the little notification bell right next to it if you want to see more videos from me and thumbs up the video if you enjoy this video. I will try to mention where I got all of the necklaces from but some of them I don't remember and yeah so I, I'm not going to put links down below just because it would be so impossible for me to find all of the links but I will try to tell you where I got them from. I will also have my Instagram and my Twitter linked down below if you want to follow me on those platforms as well. My chest is super red from trying a bunch of necklaces on so and let's get right into the necklace collection video. I'm going to start with the one I have on right now and this is from Baby Cute. I did a video with them uh, a few months ago I think and they sent me these really really nice necklaces in exchange for a video and I obviously love them so much. This necklace is actually so heavy that it's kind of hard for me to wear sometimes because it is heavy. Like this is this is a good necklace. It has all these little crystals or rhinestones, steezies all over it and it is just a metal really chunky choker necklace and has gems on the clasp as well. I absolutely love this necklace. And I do keep all of my necklaces on this little spinning holder I got from Amazon. It actually spins so you don't have to spin it. So this one is also from Baby Cute and it is a 24 karat gold necklace with these big CZ gems. And then the last necklace I got from them is also pretty big rhinestones with these little butterflies. Also 24 karat gold and it looks somewhat like that. This necklace I think I got at an antique store and it is just this gold round kind of shape. It kind of reminds me of Wonder Woman a bit but it's super easy to throw on and it's just a gold band. This necklace I think I got from probably Hot Topic or uh, Spencer's. It's just a black Cinderella style necklace. It's super cute. It's just really basic and goes with everything but that is how it looks. This one I got at Forever 21. Just has this cute little gem at the bottom and has three different chains. I think I spent like three dollars at Forever 21 for this necklace. This was a collaboration with Yafini Jewelry and they sent me a bunch of customized jewelry. Well not a bunch. They sent me two things <laughs> that were customized and this has my name on it and it's, I believe, sterling silver or something along those lines. This next one I'm not going to try on because it looks just like the one I showed before, but it has, says baby girl on it, and I got this one from Forever 21 as well. I think it was, yeah, like three or four dollars, something like that. This necklace I found on the Oregon coast, and it is two mermaids with a gem on the bottom. I thought this was so unique and so cute. It is a pretty long chain. It hangs really low but it's so cute. It's super beachy and just mystical and it goes with all the stuff on my sleeve. This necklace is too big on me which is sad because it's not adjustable but I got this I think at I want to say Hot Topic but it's this like faux leather black choker as you can see, I can fit my whole hand in it, so they don't make them adjustable, which is too bad, but I didn't know before buying it that wouldn't fit my neck. But anyways, it's just a basic black choker, thick band. This next one is similar, but this one has little gold studs all over it, and it makes it a little bit more sparkly, and I think I got this one, I want to say it was also a Hot Topic, but I could be wrong. This next necklace is kind of falling apart and tarnishing a bit, but it's probably just because I wasn't taking very good care of it. But this necklace is so pretty. It is these kind of ivy style necklace with gems, a bunch of CZs all over it, and it uh, 
what's the word tears uh, down I don't know I don't know the name but it drops down it's super pretty it's very elegant like I would wear this with like a ball gown or something like that it's very fancy but I got this one from Love Stained. I have a few necklaces from them that I ordered. I didn't work with them at all. I just really like their jewelry. So next necklace I actually got from my mom. A stainless chain with a big silver hollow heart on the bottom. It's super cute. It's very low. This is what the heart looks like. It has this air like brushed uh, like little pattern in it. It's super pretty but I thought it was unique. This is also from Love Stained but it is gold. What I love about the Love Stain chokers is that they have a velvet tie instead of a chain so they're a lot more comfortable and this is what this one looks like. And this one I got I want to say from Hot Topic as well. This one is adjustable but I believe if I remember it is also too big. Still a little loose even on the tightest setting but it's really really cute. I feel like this is a really popular necklace. I have the exact same necklace but this one's holographic. Same thing. I got this at Hot Topic I believe. These necklaces I got from... it was Love Stained. I'm pretty sure it was Love Stained but I have a uh, pyramid right here. I almost said a triangle. <laughs> so it is a triangle. It's a pyramid. And then I think it's Nerfiti or I don't know all the names. I always forget. But one of the goddesses and these are so beautiful. They are two separate necklaces but I like to wear them together just because they go well together. That is what those two look like. These next necklaces I also got on the Oregon Coast. But they are, they were from a local shop I found and these are so beautiful. They are real seashells covered in 14 karat gold and they are so cute. I absolutely love them. And oh, also a sea star. So, so cute. And they all look the same, so I'm not going to try them on, but yeah, they're super cute and they have a kind of a medium length chain. Okay, y'all, I'm serving 90s vibes with this necklace. You can find these at Hot Topic. I don't think they'll ever stop selling these necklaces. And I also have the matching bracelet. Do I really need to explain anything about this? <laughs> this necklace I think I also found at like an antique shop or something like that, but it is just a teardrop rhinestone necklace. Also pretty fancy looking. You could wear it with like a fancier dress to a wedding or something like that. Super pretty. This next one I also got an at an antique store and it is just a basic gold chain, flexible chain. What are they called? Like slinky chains? I don't really know, but that's what they're like and it's pretty simple. Next one I also got from Love Stained and this one is super fancy. I don't even know where I would wear these necklaces. I so that's what this one looks like. You can also wear it like up higher. I think that would be really pretty. I also got from Forever 21 is these little gold butterflies. This one is also from Love Stained and it says my name on it. I believe, yeah, this one is definitely from Love Stained. Super cute. I, like I said before, I love customized jewelry. So now I have one that says my name in gold and silver. <laughs> it's rather hard to tie so I'm not going to bother tying it. But it looks like this and it is a rose choker. It's so, so cute. I honestly never wear it though because it doesn't really go with anything that I have. Oh, yeah, it just like ties with a piece of string. I got this from Love Stain. I actually think they might have sent it to me for free with one of my orders. I can't exactly remember, but I know I got it from Love Stained. Another one from Love Stained, if you don't notice by now, I really like their brand. This one broke and I'm super sad, but it, yeah, it just kind of fell apart right there. And I think I was wearing it, so it was probably my fault. But they are very sturdy. Like, they're very sturdy necklaces. I honestly don't even know how it broke. I think I might have just, like, flexed my neck and it just popped or something like that. Because I do tie them pretty tight when I wear them. But this one looks like this. It's kind of similar to the other one, but it's round. I think this one is a little bit more wearable than the other one, but it's still very, very fancy. This is actually an anklet, but I keep it in my necklace collection because I don't have a lot of anklets. So... I just figured I'd show that to you guys. A mini pine cone. Yeah, a little tiny pine cone. It's so cute. My dad bought it for me for my birthday uh, last year when I turned 26 and I had found it at a local store on the Oregon coast and it is so cute. I have one more anklet, I just realized. I think I got maybe at a fair or something like that, but it is just a basic 
silver chain with rhinestones. Next one I'm not going to show because it looks just like the other one I bought from Forever 21, but it is a single chain with the gem on the bottom instead of the three-tiered one, but same principle, it's just a little tiny gem, super cute. I love these kind of simple necklaces. This one I don't know where I got it, but it is a three-tiered necklace with little rhinestones in these arrow shaped things. Super cute. I have no idea where I bought this. Might have been Forever 21. Good possibility. <laughs> Next necklace I got from Misguided and I order clothes from Misguided way too often because I love their clothes. But this necklace is so cute and I believe it was probably five or six dollars. And it's just a simple chain with a hoop on the bottom and it's so cute. I love this. I'm going to be wearing this all summer. This next one I've had since I was a kid, but I can't bring myself to get rid of it. It has my name on it, and I think I got it probably at like a souvenir shop. And it's just, it's just a simple black necklace with my name. And I think I can still rock it as an adult, honestly, so I never got rid of it. This next one I got from Forever 21. <laughs> Surprise! And this is just a basic silver chain necklace that's adjustable. It's just like the hoop one I showed you from Misguided, but this one doesn't have the hoop at the bottom. Oh my gosh, you guys. My poor chest is red from trying all those necklaces on. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. If you are into jewelry like I am, I hope you found some inspiration in this video. And if you are really interested in knowing where I got something, leave, me, leave it in the comments. If you didn't catch it in the video, I'll try to respond with a... Uh, with a name or a link or whatever I can find to help you guys out. But yeah, that is my necklace collection video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Please do hit that subscribe button down below if you aren't already subscribed to my channel and hit the little notification bell right next to it so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video at all. Please do go check out all my social media in the description box down below. I have my, t my Instagram on there and my Twitter, so go follow me on those platforms and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!